It ended up being a really nice day after the storms we had last night in the crossroads that dry air starting to filter in. We got up to 83 today, our normal high 82, so we're right where we should be. We're at 66 for our low, a little bit warmer than our normal low of 61 degrees. Not everybody in Texas had nice weather. This is the Rio Grande Valley. This is a video that was sent in for some hail that kind of skipped past it, but they had incised hail and severe weather, which is kind of unusual. There it is again. Had incised hail. There it is bouncing around like ping pong balls down around Brownsville in the Rio Grande Valley. That was the tail end of that front that came through last night sweeping through, but now that front has since pushed off. Speaking of that front, here are our rain totals. 1.22 inches at Riverside, 0.66 Cuero Gonzalez, the winner at 3 inches, 0.68 in, in Edna, Goliad at 0.6, and Port Lavaca at 0.88 inches of rain. Here is that front that is pushed off to the east along with all the rain and storms with it. This is tomorrow, 1 o'clock, a lot of sunshine and clear weather for us, going to get up to about 80 degrees, great day to be outdoors. Then this is Saturday at 10, we start to see a few showers and storms at least this model showing as early as 10 o'clock tomorrow night. But then we see this low pressure move into the area. This is Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock. It's going to bring the southerly flow back in. And with that, storms and rain as that low slowly moves off to the east. It's going to stick around here for a couple of days. This is mon Monday at 10 o'clock. You see the rain and clouds. And as I said, we do have a marginal risk, about a one in five chance for severe weather on Sunday in the form of strong damage in winds and hail. How much rain will we get over the three day period? Well, anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to you see an inch and a half down here around Corpus Christi. Of course, these amounts aren't exact for the area. This is just kind of a range of what we should expect from the rain over those three days. Future trackers showing those winds pretty strong out of the northwest, but then quickly switching around to the east by tomorrow, picking up to almost 20 miles per hour. Temperature staying in the low 70s. If you are going to go fishing, tomorrow's the day. You don't want to be out there Sunday because on this model, this is Sunday morning around 7 o'clock, and as that low pushes in, you see the rain and storms out in front of it. And notice the southerly flow returning out ahead of that low, giving it the energy and the low giving it the lift to give us the rain and storms for Monday, Sunday, and Tuesday. Water temperature at Port O'Connor is 74 degrees. Your high tide at 1155, low at 106 a.m. Pretty strong easterly wind at 15 to 20, keeping those bay waters on the choppy side. Here's Sunday, 74 degrees because of the clouds and rain, 60% chance of rain, calling an alert day because we do have a marginal risk for severe weather. We're going to keep that alert day in effect for Monday and Tuesday as we could have rain at any time during the day, interrupting any outdoor activities. 76 for your high on Monday. Highs creeping up a little bit, 80 degrees on Tuesday, lows staying in the mid 60s. Then the rain moves out with the sunshine. The temperatures also warm up, warming up to 85 on Wednesday. And then we do have a front coming through toward the end of the week. Right now it's looking like a fairly dry front. So 77 degrees for your high, then slight chance of rain on Sunday. Of course, you can download the Crossroads app today. Get the latest in news, weather and sports at your fingertips. 